It was a beautiful morning on the island of Sodor and the Polar Express knew that the seasons were changing and so he needed to go visit Santa Claus in the North Pole. But he and the magical train car who had attached himself to him to meet Santa Claus took a wrong turn. The Polar Express and the magical train car were all of a sudden stopped dead in their tracks when they came across a great big castle. A um, magical train car, said the Polar Express. I don't believe I've taken this route to the North Pole before, and I don't remember this castle. I know you rarely leave Sodor, but does this look familiar to you? <laughs> said the magical train car. Yes, it seems that we are both confused by this, but unfortunately, we can only go through the one way into the castle to get to the North Pole, so I guess we're committed now. Let's check it out. And with that, the Polar Express and his friend, the Magical Train Car, went into the eerie castle. As soon as the Polar Express and the Magical Train Car went through the front door of the castle, they were met with some familiar faces, but... Things seemed very different. Hey, who are you? Said what appeared to be Thomas. And what are you doing in my castle? You should not be here. I have several people captive and you really shouldn't be in here unless I invited you in. Thomas, don't you recognize me, boy? It's the Polar Express. What are you doing in this castle? And why are you holding these trains captive? What's going on? Help us, help us, said Annie and Clarabelle. Help us! Thomas won't let us go! <laughs> said the magical train car. <laughs> what magical train car? You're saying we're in another dimension and that's not normal, Thomas? That's evil, Thomas? I hardly believe you, but you're my friend. And I know I must always believe my friends, so it must be true. We must save these poor engines from that evil Thomas. The Polar Express and Magical Train Car decided to back out of the castle to devise a plan on what it is they were going to do to save their train friends. All right, Magical Train Car, said the Polar Express. You use your magic. You get up there on that second level with Evil Thomas, and there's a button you can push. I think he might fall through the floor. <laughs> Wonderful. I knew you could do it. When you do that, I'm going to get the other trains. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to couple them to the back of me. And we're going to get them out of here. Sound good? Blah! Said the magical train car. And the Polar Express took off to see what he could do to save the day. The magical train car all of a sudden used his magic and was able to levitate up by Evil Thomas on the second level of the castle. Hey, you weird blue train car thing that doesn't speak well. You shouldn't be up here. Only the king of this castle is allowed up here. Blah, blah, said the magical train car as he pushed the button. And Evil Thomas fell to the first floor. Now's our chance, said the Polar Express. And he coupled all of the trains together and he quickly got them out of harm's way. The magical train car was also able to use his magic to slowly descend, get on the track, and meet up with his friend, the Polar Express. No, hey, hey, no, no, hey, hey, no, 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 hey, no, hey, no, hey, hey, ha, oh, ha, oh, ha, oh, said Evil Thomas. Now I can't force him to be my friends and I have a hard time getting up. I, this is an unfortunate situation. I should probably not have taken people against their will. The Polar Express quickly took all of his friends back to the island of Sodor, and they're able to meet with their actual friend Thomas, not evil Thomas. Oh, Thomas, actual Thomas, it's so good to see you. You will not believe the day that we had. Oh, really? said Thomas. What happened? Well, long story short, we took a wrong turn on the way to the North Pole, and then I rescued Annie and Clarabelle, and the magical train car helped me from an evil Thomas version of you. We think it might have been a different dimension, but either way, we're back here safe on the island of Sodor, and I'll try to make it to the North Pole again soon. And that's the end of another fun tale on the island of Sodor. The end.